Hey everybody, welcome back. So, to continue the video that I posted yesterday, um, we are going to continue the uh, assembly of the uh, second CBX in this series of the uh, CBX restoration videos. So I'm starting off there by showing you uh, that I'm installing the pistons and you can uh, watch our previous video on the detail of uh, installing the rings and the pistons. But right now I'm focusing on uh, the cylinder walls here and I just wanted to uh, zoom in here to show you that these cylinder walls are in pretty good condition. The original uh, hash marks are still there from the factory. There's a bit of a little ridge up here at the top, uh, but we'll be honing uh, these out here and I'll show you uh, how to get rid of all of that and get them to look like new again. So um, what I do is uh, <clears throat> I like to hone them out in my parts washer with the solvent because uh, that's pretty much how they uh, bore um, cylinders out. But uh, just uh, go to your local parts store, auto parts store and buy by this honing uh, attachment that you can attach to a drill and it works like a charm really is nice and uh, anyway it, I, I use my solvent but you can use like WD-40 or oil or whatever is handy for you but uh, the solvent works really well so um, I'm gonna kind of speed this process up here um, just to for the sake of the of the length of the video but uh, once you get started um, you know once I get started here I'll show you uh, the process so you just kind of let the drill do the work you just move it back and forth without letting the stones uh, come out of the cylinder. You want to be able to get that ridge off of there and then uh, bring it all the way down to the bottom. So at this point I'm gonna I'm gonna speed the video up a little bit but you can see the uh, the black coming off there all that glaze coming off the uh, cylinder wall. Doesn't take much I mean, these, these stones are pretty tough, so you don't want to do it too aggressively and, and uh, too much. You just want to get that glaze off of there. Now, if your cylinder walls have a ridge in them, uh, a very noticeable ridge, uh, that's not good. Then you're going to have to bore it out. But in this case, the, uh, the cylinder walls had no ridge at all. They were very smooth and... Um, Again, the, the original hash marks were still in them, which indicates that they haven't worn at all. So uh, just honing them out is sufficient. To, and, uh, you know, then you would just keep the standard size pistons and rings. So again, th this is sped up quite a bit. Um, it probably takes about 15, 20 minutes to do it properly. And when I'm all done, then I just wash it all down with the solvent again to get all the the residue off from the glaze and so on. And you'll see here in a minute that the, the cylinders look absolutely beautiful when you're done. So as you can see here, they, they really look nice, just like brand new. So then once that's done, you've got to put the rubber gaskets, uh, the little O-rings uh, back around. You have to get the old ones out, which is kind of a tedious process. And again, I show that on a previous video in detail. But um, once you get those out and all cleaned up, then you put the new ones in. 
and then you go and you to kind of tap them down onto the to the engine and again in a previous video I go into a lot of detail on how to get the piston started you want to start with number two and number five piston and uh, then you just kind of work the rings in uh, the bottom of the cylinder uh, walls are tapered so that you don't even need a ring compressor you can just kind of work the uh, the cylinders down slowly and make sure the rings go in there with that taper it, they just go in there very nicely and again this is sped up but but it only takes a few minutes and then once you get it all started then then uh, you know it's pretty easy to get them all in there properly so then once the uh, the cylinders are in place you have to make sure you put in the the pin down there for your cam chain adjuster uh, guide and here I'm you have to adjust the cam chain adjuster all the way up and then tighten up that that nut that acorn nut there so now I'm, I'm, I'm unwrapping the, uh, the newly rebuilt head. And uh, the head has all brand new valve seals in it. All, those, all the valves have been reseated, reground, reseated, and um, essentially like a brand new head. So it's really nice when you just send the head off to a machine shop and they... Uh, you know build it up properly <clears throat> I can do it but I'd much rather have the expert to do it they know exactly what they're doing and it takes a lot of time and effort and I'd rather be working on the rest of the bike and it doesn't really cost that much it only costs about three four hundred dollars to have the head completely reconditioned by a machine shop properly so uh, the bike will run like brand new if you have this done. It's a really important step. So before the head goes on, uh, you have to put the, uh, the upper can chain adjuster in first before you install the head. And that's what I'm doing here. And it's a little, little tricky because it's uh, spring-loaded pretty tough. Again, it's a, it's a little, little uh, takes a little effort to, to do it, but once you get it, then you uh, install the bolt like I'm doing here. And you're good to go. And you want to you want to put it in there where it's uh, adjusted all the way down so that the cam chain is easily installed so now you put the cam chain guide in like I pointed out that pin earlier you put that guide in before you install the head and by the way before you install the cylinder walls which I did not uh, cover you have to install the cam chain adjuster before you install the uh, the cylinders so here I'm installing the uh, head gasket and again in previous videos uh, I show all of this in much more detail I'm just right now I'm just trying to catch this this second bike up to the uh, first bike so that they're equal uh, in the restoration so that I can then build both bikes up equally at the same time so I'm kind of rushing through this engine build. But again, if you want more detail on all of this, you can watch some of the previous videos on the engine build. So here I'm lowering the, the head down. And, and uh, one of your tools that is completely essential for any, any kind of a shop is uh, that this uh, flexible magnet like I'm showing here. That thing has saved my butt many, many times when you drop a bolt down in the engine or something like that. Uh, earlier, I dropped a wrist pin for the piston down 
into the uh, into the engine, <laughs> and that magnet saved my butt. So here I'm lowering the engine down on the uh, adjustable platform and getting it uh, set up right so that uh, I can install the frame easily. So that's going to do it for this video. And um, uh, thank you for watching. And again, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. So again, thank you very much for, for uh, watching. Thank <music> you.